Hey guys, so you downloaded an app called Set TV, and every time you watch it, every 15 to 20 minutes, the screen goes black on you. Stick around, and I'm going to show you how to take care of that in just a minute. Okay guys, so before we get started, what you're going to need to be able to do this is you're going to need Aptoid, the mouse toggle, and you're going to need a web browser. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to literally get the Set TV app right onto your Fire Stick, and then I'm going to show you the apps that you need to run on in the background so it won't go to sleep on you. Alright, so we're going to go to your home page, and what we're going to do is like I said, we need to use your web browser. So we're going to go here, and you're going to type this right into your browser. Click Next, and that's going to bring you to Set's website. Okay, so now that you're on Set's website, what you want to do is you want to use your mouse toggle and you're going to go right over here to the hamburger sign and you're going to click that. It's going to bring down a drop down menu. Click off your mouse toggle and then just press the down. Now here's your download. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your mouse toggle and you're going to go in and you're going to click on that. Okay, so now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you where do you want to download this. We're going to open it with the ES Explorer. So you're going to use your mouse toggle again. Go over to just once and it's going to download it for you. Now what you're going to do is you're going to back out of here. Go over to ES Explorer, click on that. You're going to go down to your download file. And right there is going to be your icon for Set TV. So now what you're going to do is you're going to install that. I'm not going to do that, but if you've installed any apps, you're going to know how to do it. So then you're going to back out again. And now you're going to go right back to Set TV again because you have to install their update on top of that. Okay, so now that you're at the down on the update page. You're going to scroll down here and you're going to take your mouse and you're just going to click right on this APK file. Again, you're going to say yes, I want to use the ES Explorer for this. Go over to open file, click on that, and it's going to show you set 1.1.114. You're going to install that. This is going to install right over top of your Set TV app. Now, I'm not 100% positive about this, guys. And if anybody knows, please chime in down below. But you might be able to just install this. You don't have to do the original download. But I'm not 100% positive about that. So I'm going to tell you to do both because anybody that already had it on there had to install this over. So I'm not going to actually go through installing it because I already did that. We're going to go back to our home screen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Aptoid. So you're going to click on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your um, magnifying glass there, your search. And first you're going to type in Stay Alive. Click Next. All right.
So this is the Stay Alive you're looking for. And make sure it's version 2.0000. Now, it should be the first one you find, but if for whatever reason you come across a different one, just make sure that's the version you're downloading. So you're going to take your mouse and just go over and click that app. And then you're going to go over now. I already have it installed, but if I didn't have it installed, this right here would say install. You're going to click that. Okay? So now once you have that installed, you're going to go back to um, Aptoid again. And now you're going to go up. And this time you're going to type in Wakey. Click next on that, and right here is Wakey, keep your screen awake. So you want to get the most updated version, of course, um, just like with Stay Alive, it's probably going to be the first one you come across. So you're just going to use your mouse again, go up, click that, and again, if you don't have it on already, this right here is going to say install, so you're going to click that with your mouse. You're going to install that, then you're going to go back to Aptoid one more time, you're going to go over there, and this time you're going to type in this time you're going to type in MX Player Kodak. So then you're going to click next again. Now, this is the one you're looking for right here guys. MX Player Kodak ARM version 7 Neon. So again, you're going to use your mouse, you're going to click on that, and right here would say install. You're going to click on that. You're going to install that. Okay, so now you have all of these installed onto your Fire Stick. Now we got to do a few little settings for them. Okay, so first things first. What you want to do is you're going to go up and you're going to go over to your settings and you're going to go into notifications. Now, hit your hamburger, which is going to bring you into options. If anybody's wondering what the hamburger is, this right here, the three lines, that's your hamburger. So you're going to go into that. It's going to bring you into settings. Click on that. Click on app notifications. And you're just going to scroll down. And you want to go to stay alive and wakey. And you're going to select both of those are off. Okay? So right now mine's on, I click it, it's off, okay? Now you're going to back out of there. Now you're going to go over to display and sounds. And you're going to go to your screen saver. Okay, now, down here where it says start time, you want that to say never, okay? So if it doesn't say never, you would just use your um, pad go down to that and you can select it click on it it's going to give you an option make sure it says never click on that now we're going to go back to our home screen again and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into see all for your apps go over to wakey okay now you have to select charge awake so you're going to use your mouse toggle, go over there, and you're going to click that. So if this is gray, it's off. You want this to be yellow, okay? Now once you've done that, you've done everything that you need to to install this. Now you can go back to your home screen, go on to Set TV, and you're ready to start viewing. All right, guys. I hope this video helped you out. Please like and subscribe, leave a message down below, and have a great day.